What's happening guys? This is Wilson Jet. I've got some Chicom CQB free-for-all gameplay in this video and uh, I think there's a case to be made that this is the very best weapon in the game. Uh, certainly for free-for-all mode anyway. There are a variety of different ways that you can set the gun up and be really successful. In that opening clip I was using a reflex sight with a suppressor and this is the only submachine gun that I felt really comfortable using a reflex sight on because it is so accurate. It has accuracy and range that rivals that of an assault rifle and it is so fast even with the suppressor that it just has a, a ton of stopping power. You can also do what you're going to see here in this raw unedited gameplay and that is full-on hip fire cannon. Once you have the select fire, equip that, go fully automatic, slap a laser sight on there and you can do stuff like that. Uh, it really just isn't even fair. It's like having a lightweight death machine for the entire round. The gun is too fast and too accurate. Once you get comfortable uh, firing from the hip, and you'll see, I, I, I kind of forget to hip fire a lot. I have a bad habit of ADSing all the time. But still, uh, the, the gun is just too good in free-for-all mode. I went on a ridiculous tear where I won five games in a row and nine out of ten uh, finishing second in the other one. And I'm a pretty average player. My KD is barely over one. Um, so I, I had to go back and look, okay, why was I so successful there? And I think it's a combination of a good setup, having some map awareness and free for all, and yes, being very fortunate to find myself in a lobby that was advantageous for me in terms of the skill level of the other players. But if you visit your COD Elite, there is a tab in there called Game Summary. And uh, there's an option to see the heat map. And I went back and I looked at this heat map to try and understand the traffic patterns for the, uh, the different boards in free-for-all mode. And I learned something very interesting. Uh, I don't know if this has happened to you, but usually when I play free-for-all, I can count on spawning in the same location about 50% of the time. And another 25% of the time, I will spawn adjacent to that spawn. So it'll be one of three spots. It'll be the, the spot where I find myself most often or one of the two spots on either side of that. And I think that's more than a coincidence. Uh, there's got to be something about how Black Ops chooses to spawn you that is related to your location in the physical world, maybe? I don't know. But I know I'm always going to be in the same spawn, so it's important to learn how to break out of that spawn and get some kills early. Free For All is all about getting a really quick start. If you can come out of the gate and string together four, five, six kills and then hit some score streaks that are beneficial to you. As you can see here, I'm running a low score streak setup of UAV, Hunter Killer, Care Package with a low score streak setup in Free For All because you're going to die a lot. So it, it really doesn't make sense to me to have high score streaks in Free For All anyway. With this low score streak setup, you're pretty much guaranteed to hit it at least twice. If on that first go around, you get a Care Package that you can double tap with Engineer, and get some kind of decent air support, like a Warthog or an Escort Drone, uh, maybe a Stealth Chopper, it's pretty much game over. Uh, once you get out of the gate hot and then have air support on top of it, it's just going to be a bridge too far for your competition. It, it's extremely tough for them to catch up at that point because you're going to be streaking out in front and all you have to do is seal the deal. So learning how to break out of that spawn is probably one of the most important things um, that I picked up that helped me in free-for-all games. And what I learned from that heat map is that more often than not, when people leave their spawn, they break to the right. And I don't know if that's map design or human nature. Uh, whatever the case, people always tend to go to their right. So when you spawn, if you pull a hard 90 degree left, face the spawn that's on your left, chuck a flashbang or a concussion over there, stun them, that should be one easy kill right out of the gate. I like to use a lightweight setup in free-for-all. And then I just move clockwise around the map because most people are moving the other way. Most people break to the right. They're moving counterclockwise. If you move clockwise and visit the first two or three spawns, sometimes you can pick up three, four, maybe even more kills right out of the gate. Get some air support. You're going to be tough to beat at that point. Uh, once you, you learn how to do that, and you can pick up some score streaks to help you, 
you're going to have a good chance of finishing top three nearly every time. I also had to go and find out how to pronounce this, the name of this gun appropriately. Uh, there's been a lot of debate about that. I hear people uh, call it all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, I've heard the Chicago, the Chicano, uh, the Cheese Commander. Uh, some guy the other day he even called it the CeeLo Green, uh, which is pretty funny. But I think the, the way that you're supposed to pronounce it is actually Chicom. And what that means, believe it or not, is Chinese communist, which is a little derogatory, but this is an actual military term, and it is a Chinese weapon, and uh, Chicom is short for Chinese communist. Uh, the more PC way to say that would be uh, of the People's Republic Communist Party of China or whatever, but that is actually what it means, Chinese communist. So Chicom is uh, the way to pronounce this, but uh, I think I'm just going to keep calling it the Chicago, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway. This thing is a beast. It's extremely accurate. Definitely give it a try. I think you're going to do well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a comment. I would really appreciate it. Uh, Till next time, this is Wilson Jet. Later.